Hello and welcome back everyone to our uh, Rocket Rabbit commentaries and in this episode we'll be doing yet another Magic the Gathering set exploration and because 2020 is almost over as of this recording I decided to look back at the corset that was released last year not this year we don't we don't do stuff that was that's that uh, recent usually um, so yet. we'll be looking at corset uh, corset 2020 which was of course released in 2019 because that's how the uh, timeline works the timeline well, of is course fucked. you got to of course, you got to release Madden 2020 at the end of the 2019 season. Yeah. Um, I'm running Gruel, which is uh, what I'm specifically running is the Gruel Elemental Package, because there are a lot of elementals in here. I don't have the entire package, because um, I have this thing where I don't like to use uh, cards that are of Mythic rare, uh, Rarity, and I think the Elemental Chandra is the Mythic Rare. Or is it, or is her the uh, ping one? I forget. There's three Chandra in this set, and I'm not running any of them, so there. So what Gerda is basically telling us is that now, what, as we were talking off a record, that I, I seem to have picked a decent amount of uh, play action interplay or sabotage outright of the green or red variety, that also I seem to be running maybe one or two or three or four or five, maybe even six mythic rares, because I don't I don't have much scruples with with winning at this point. I just want to win. <laughs> mm. Well, come on, the mythic rares themselves aren't actually all that uh, all that powerful. In, in uh, well, they're not supposed to be all that powerful. It's a matter of card design <laughs> so principle. It's a matter of card, card design, design principle princi that uh, play sets. That uh, yeah. <laughs> The play sets are more powerful than Mythic Rares. Anyway, shall we begin? Yes. Um, Let's do this. With a touch of the button. Yeah. All right. Now. Roll the dice. Uh, let's see here. Damn, why can't I ever win the dice roll? It's not fair. You, win, you know, you win dice rolls, just not when we're recording. <laughs> yeah. I will like to go first, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll keep. I will keep this hand. Wonderful. All right. And for my first play, I'm going to put down an island. I'm going to tap it for the Spectral Sailor. Ooh. Yarg. One of the most broken blue cards yet printed. <laughs> yeah, a blue a blue gets a, uh, gets a really good pirate package uh, in, in this uh, set. Yarg. And he gains a life when it enters the battlefield. That 21st point will mean the difference between victory and defeat this day. Oh, no, it won't. Hmm. Interest. Okay. I kind of like this play. I just want to see what else I can do. Uh, not much, unfortunately. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to play hardcover. Okay. I'm going to attach the hardcover to a spectral sailor. Next, I'm going to improve its toughness in order to account for the new boons from the hardcover. It also gains a tap ability, which I'm going to use right now. All right. My enchanted creature has tap to draw a card and then discard a card. Draw a card. Very nice. And I'm going to discard a... Um, Man, I mean, these all are pretty good, but I think this, yeah, this is the one I gotta get rid of. Sarah's Guardian, but good, goodbye. Ooh, I do like me some Sarah's Guardian. Uh, oh, get, yeah. uh, granting uh, granting vigilance to all your critters is usually a really good thing. All right, so let's start off with my first elemental. Mm, come on, cockatrice, keep up with me. Ahem, the creeping trailblazer. Mwah. The creeping trailblazer. He's actually a lord card, which is really nice. Well, almost a Lord card. He actually gives, uh, you know, a minor fire breathing bonus. I am going to put down an island card and then tap three to cast the Warden of Evos Isle. Okay, then. If I cast any spells with, uh, creature spells with flying, they cost one less to cast. Um, mm, including itself. That is correct. I am going to end my turn now. All right, I was kind of hoping you'd actually swing at me, but... <laughs> All right, let's put down another forest, and then we're going to spend three to cast Chandra Spitfire. 
I and uh, yeah, with that, I'll end. No, you don't. I'm going to use my tap ability. You see, that was what I was worried about and why I wanted you to swing. That way you wouldn't have your tap ability active. Draw a card. And then discard a take vengeance. No, we do not need vengeance because vengeance presupposes an insult, an injury upon my person. But none has been yet inflicted in this rather slow development cycle we have. It's about to go off, motherfuckers. I'm going to pay one to cast the Loyal Pegasus. Ooh, I like me some Loyal Pegasus. Loyal Pegasus carried me very nicely in Theros. I see you have a 1-3 with flying. 2-3. Whenever, whenever an opponent is right, because other elementals, you control get plus 1, plus 0. Very nice synergy. They're kind of very good. They're very, very green. I like, I like that it has green. It has red. It's mostly green, but somewhat red. Uh, and then with no combat damage gets... Okay, so you have to you have to hit me with like an instant or sorcery or something before this thing swings, and it has flying. So I'm gonna keep that in mind because a five a five power five flying is not good. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're showing a flying blocker now, so that means I can't even attack you. I'm just gonna end my turn. Well, you could attack me with uh, uh with stuff and get uh, a full point in. Screw it, screw it, I say. Mm, all right, I'm gonna spend four. In order to cast the Shifting Ceratops. Dinosaurs. And Protection from like blue. Yes. You bastard. I'm going to use my tap ability. <laughs> Draw a card. And then discard an island card. Yeah. Alright, come on. Golden. Hell yes. Alright. Uh, first, I'm going to pay one. Two, cast another Spectral Sailor. Okay. And you are tapped out. Marvelous. And now I'm going to count the number of creatures with flying I control. I have one. Four. Two. Three. Four. I'm going to pay one and tap four untapped creatures with flying I control to cast Safara, Sky's Blade. Okay. This game is over. It's a legendary 7-7 seven, seven with flying lifelink. Mm-hmm. And it is your turn now, <laughs> because I can't attack anymore. <laughs> All right, then. Um, let's go with another mountain, and... Uh, oh, don't kill it, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is a 7-7, seven, seven, which is, you know... Uh, some, bit of a uh, which problem. Is something, yes. It, it is a bit of a problem, certainly, but... I'm not entirely sure how big a problem I'm supposed to believe it is. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to spend four. In order... Well... You know what? No, I'll cast... I'll, I'll spend five in order to cast the Pyroclastic Elemental. Nice. Alright, oh, and with that... Oh, I see. So, then, so that's what triggers the Spitfire. Gotcha. That's, that's pretty cool. And with that, I will end. Yes, you will. All right, so now I've got a little fleet of motherfuckers ready to do some good in the name of victory. Um, now, I have a bit of a choice to make. I think I am comfortable paying four. And this is another reason why Spectral Sailor is fucking stupid, is because now I need to replenish, and I have a card that lets me replenish. For four mana, draw a card. And now I'm going to go into my combat step and swing out. And because Safara, uh, other creatures I control with flying also have indestructible because of Safara Sky's Blade, swinging at you for a total of 13. All right. Um, and I'll block your Warden of Evo Sile with my Chandra uh, Spitfire. Damn it. And I will unattach Chandra Spitfire. Uh, uh, unattach. Attach to thing. I'm going to attach my other card. Okay, that, that did it, I guess. Um... So you're blocking my Warden of Evosile, okay, uh, and no other, right, because you don't have any other flyers. Damage step. You take two less damage. My Warden of Evosile has Indestructible mm -hmm. because of Safara. So I take 11. Trying, One. You take 11 damage, and I also gain 7 life. Mm -hmm. And it is your turn. Mm, all right, then. Do 
your worst. <laughs> well, my worst isn't really going to be enough, sadly, because I didn't get the other land that I needed. Hmm. This uh, cloud opens the nut, 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 nuts. All right, I'm going to spend five in order to cast a mammoth spider. Mammoth spider it has reach. And then I'm going to swing at you for 12. Swinging for 12, 2, 5, and another 5. I take 12 damage, which uh, brings me Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Life. It's not 12. It's uh, it's it's not 12. It's 13. Sorry. Bing. It is 13 because the pyroclastic elemental is an elemental creature, so I take one additional damage. All right. And with that, uh, I'll end. All right, so this is a bit of a predicament right here, because if I overextend, I basically lose the game. Hmm. Dang it. Well, I mean, if I drew into some removal right now, it's definitely possible. Um, let me think. So you got these fucking guys. This guy has protection from blue, so can only be blocked by Safara, basically. But if I just lay into you right now, you will take one, two, you'll take only four damage because you're going to block two of my flyers, which is, well, I mean, but then I gain life because of Safara. But so I think that actually is the move. I'm going to put down a Cryptic Caves and I'm going to use my Cryptic Caves ability. Pay one. Tap and sacrifice the Cryptic Caves because I control five or more lands. I draw a card. Uh, pay two for an angelic gift. All right. Enchanted creature has flying. All your creatures um, already it, have flying. It has even more flying. <laughs> I also draw a card when it ETBs. I'm going to swing out again. Okay. Swinging for 13. All right. Uh, I'll block Zephara's, uh sky blade with my mammoth spider. And I'll also mammoth block uh, the warden of Evo's Isle with my Chandra Spitfire. Indestructible. You take four damage, and I gain seven. No, one, two, three, four. My mammoth spider is deaded. And I will end my turn. Okay. Can I get the land that I need? That is not the land that I need, but... Hmm. You see, the big issue here is that your critters are indestructible. If your critters weren't indestructible, I probably could actually uh, just straight up win right now. Yeah, Although... I, I thought that's a. F I, I'm had for. It's been a little while since I drew test this deck. I guess Safara doesn't care what the timing is. They always have indestructible as long as they have flying. Yeah, and it's not her. So I'm gonna swing for as much damage as I can. I'm gonna put down another uh, creeping crow laser. Elemental power, 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 and uh, we. And deal three with the pyroclastic elemental. <laughs> yes, I'm going to deal three with my pyroclastic elemental. Well, rather, yes. deal, uh, is it? Uh, it's one for the record. Dealing one. Boom. Mm -hmm. Now the Spitfire gets plus three, plus zero until end of turn because I took non combat damage this turn. Uh, come on. It's set. Yeah, six, three. Its power, it's power is six. six Wonderful. Three. This is, this is going to hurt. But am I dead? <laughs> No, you're not dead. I might be. No, I, I think I, I actually think I am dead now. Uh, 7, 12, 7, 12 18, 18, 21. 21, 21, 24. Hey, Gerdad won the game. In an upset. One we were not expecting. Mm. Good game, sir. I did not think I had 21 damage. Damn. Well, it's it's because the, dude, the pyroclastic <laughs> elemental ability. That well, I mean, you you would have had, um, because you were showing twenty four. It was the actually, I think it was the creeping trailblazer that made that happen because that added one, two, three, that added three power to mm -hmm. your onslaught. So that yep. that was that also gave you a push. So good, good end game swing. Mm, and I'm right. glad I made it close somewhat. On to I R two. Mean, was only. I was only one swing away from, you know, just completely laying waste to you, but apparently what my deck might have to be a little faster next time. <laughs>